At Necessite, an inclusive platform, we bring to you curated mindful products, great fun recipes you can do at home for the modern way of eating and cooking. Come along with us and share and learn more for yourself, your loved ones, and your home. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Erica Reed. Another video to show you how to prepare something quick and easy for yourself, your friends, your loved ones, maybe even your children. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Erica Reed with Necessite TV. Let's get started. All right, a chicken breast, organic chicken cutlet. I gotta put the gloves on first. Well, I'm wearing this bracelet because my daughter, she gave it to me and I don't remember where um, she got this, but I sometimes put it on and today's one of those days but I'm gonna take it off because I don't want any chicken juice on it <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it there I wear my gloves because I don't like to have personal contact with the chicken these are latex free they don't irritate my skin I'm not allergic to them they're disposable gloves and they allow me to get in there and touch the chicken without having to actually feel the flesh and skin of the chicken, which just does a little thing to me. So here we go. I am making, it's like, if someone heard me say chicken paillard, they would say that's not a chicken paillard, but it's my version of a chicken paillard that I'm gonna share with you. Really simple. Always cleanse your, rinse your chicken when you get it from the, the store, the butcher, wherever you get your chicken. You want to rinse it because it sits in, you know, the juice. So rinse it in cold water, pat dry it on paper towel, which I've already done. This one is ready to be seasoned. So let's begin. Oops, parsley. I guess I'm supposed to use parsley from the garden with love, the necessity garden. So we'll add some of that on there. I wasn't going to, but I think that was a sign. So there's nothing on it. It's just dry chicken. Well, it's wet, but there's, it's dry. Nothing's on it. And I'm just sprinkling some herbs on top of the chicken. And I'm going to season both sides. I love doing cilantro. Cilantro is a great herb that helps pull mercury from the body. It's great for your gums, your teeth, and so is parsley. So I'm gonna cut some of this up, the parsley. We'll put it on the other side. I'm gonna season both sides of the chicken. So this is the first side done. I don't wanna to touch my, and I'm lay it down. I put a little olive oil on here. And now I'm gonna just do the same I don't know if this glove touched the chicken, so I'm taking this glove off and put that there. So, same thing, herbs and a little bit of cilantro and that's it. Yep, it looks good. Season it. I like to do organic chicken again organic chicken there's no chemicals in it you know you're eating chemicals if you get chemicals in it if the animal ate the chemicals I just put a little parsley there uh, you know your kids your family your loved ones so I put the top one there and we're gonna now put this in I already have it preheated 375 I'll cook it for about 12 15 minutes this is a heavy workout and it hurts my neck but it's quick all right I think the chicken is done Woo! smells delicious even though I'm not going to eat it and I haven't people are so amazed that I still cook chicken but I have to. I, after all, I have family and friends that eat it. So, here it is. Delicious looking chicken. This is my version of chicken paillard. 
And I like to cook it in this just because it gives the pretty little lines inside, but you don't have to. You can use the same thing, put in a cast iron or a stainless steel. Um, just use whatever works for you. The thing is you want to nourish yourself and your loved ones well. That's the goal. That's the intention when getting in the kitchen. So keep it in mind. You can cut it and it looks pretty moist. Serve it, put a nice plate of uh, vegetables on the side and put a little lemon. You can even squeeze a little lemon on it. And that's your dish. It's really simple. This is the modern way of cooking. We don't have time to be in the kitchen all day, but you're better being in your kitchen at home than not having it at home to get it. So take it to work. You can make leftovers with this. You can chop it up. You can put it in gluten-free pasta or pasta that's not gluten-free. You can make a sandwich out of it. You can put it on a bun. There's so many different things you can do with this. It goes a long way and you know, when it comes to chicken and animal meat, I suggest eating it the day you cook it and only one day of leftovers. You don't want to do it more than that. If you want to do leftovers that stretch out two and three days, you're great with doing that with like things as such as beans and rice, lentils, those types of things. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna save this for my loved ones for later on because this will be dinner and I'm gonna think of something else to go with it, which will probably be some type of vegetable, broccoli, I don't know, but something. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to tune in. Don't be afraid to try something new, get in your kitchen. After all, what do you have it for? If I can do this, so can you. Thanks for watching. I'm Erica Reed with Necessite TV. Ta-da!